So, um, this is my first ghost light. Um, I'm Greg McLaughlin. I'm on the board at the Theater Barn. Uh, I thought I'd give Pam the night off. Um, she did such a wonderful job, and the whole team did such a wonderful job at the fundraiser uh, just uh, just the other day. Um, it's really great to be involved in, in, a, in a group that has such wonderful devoted and talented folks and particularly Pam I'm sure we don't tell her often enough how blessed we are to have her as part of the group but I certainly feel that way um, so being my first ghost light I struggled quite a bit with uh, what to do and how to do it um, I wanted to do my best to try to capture some of the feelings of these times as we seem to be calling them um, while at the same time not being overly trite or, um, uh, you know, uh, condescending. Um, so I, I solicited input from friends and from family, and lots of people gave me monologues, and I'm grateful for those suggestions. And ultimately, I decided to read poems, um, recognizing that there's some, you know, risk in... Uh, the overly dramatized poems that people have done uh, over time. And I'm going to try not to do that. I'm just going to try to read the poem. Uh, I couldn't do it justice anyway. Um, so I chose three relatively popular and probably fairly well-known poems. Uh, the first is um, Fire and Ice by uh, Robert Frost. And the second is O Me, O Life by Walt Whitman. Uh, and the third, maybe a little bit more obscure, is I Didn't Go to Church Today by Ogden Nash. And I hope that the three of them together uh, attempt to capture the angst and um, uh, the collective sort of angst and soul searching uh, that we're all going through, but maybe just with a little bit of, of defiance and uh, lightheartedness uh, in the last one at least. So, uh, this is Fire and Ice by Robert Frost. Some say the world will end in fire, and some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. A bit grim, um, but now let's struggle with some of these concepts. This is O Me, O Life by Walt Whitman. O oh, me, O oh, life of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, of myself forever reproaching myself, for whom more, more foolish than I, and who more faithless, of eyes that vanity vainly crave the light of the objects mean, of the struggles ever renewed, of the poor results of all, of the plotting and sordid crowds I see around my, of the empty and useless years of the rest, with the rest me intertwined, the question, oh me, oh so sad, recurring, what good amid, amid these, oh me, oh life, answer, that you are here, that life exists and identity, and that the powerful play goes on, then you may contribute a verse. Very heavy, very heavy. So let's lighten it up a little. This is I Didn't Go to Church Today by Ogden Nash. I didn't go to church today. I trust the Lord to understand. The surf was swirling blue and white, and the children swirling on the sand. He knows, he knows, how brief my stay, how brief this spell of summer weather. He knows when I am said and done, we'll have plenty of time together. So that's my first ghost light. Um, hope there's more, and I hope you're all having a great weekend.